So it's been about one year since the HomePod actually came out, and it's been about eight months since I actually had it in the office. And last week, Apple released the HomePod in Spain and in Mexico. Finally, we finally have the HomePod here in Spain. So let's go ahead and revisit the HomePod. After eight months of use, by the way, I can still say it's perfect. What's going on guys? Apple World here. So we are one day away from the Apple Keynote. I am so excited to see the 2018 iPad Pros with a beautiful X to X display, no home button, face ID. I am so excited for that iPad. But anyways, we are not here to talk about the iPad. I mean, by the way, there's a bunch of new leaks and rumors um, about the 2018 iPad Pros that actually got leaked yesterday. I didn't really want to make another iPad Pro video. If you guys actually want to know what's new tomorrow before the keynote, I will actually be live streaming um, and I will let you know of all the latest leaks. But anyways, tomorrow's the day. Let's stop talking about rumors. Today is the day to talk about the HomePod. So the HomePod, it's probably been one of the products from Apple that has been hated the most from people. I mean, the HomePod, there's so many people that hate the HomePod. And I don't really understand why. I mean, I get their points and they're kind of reasonable, but for me, it's perfect. And you can call me an Apple fanboy, you can call me whatever you want. But for me, for me, the HomePod is perfect. And let me tell you why. I said this on my review. If you are built in the Apple ecosystem, if you have Apple Music, if you use Siri, if you have HomeKit devices, it's perfect. I mean, what else do you want from a smart speaker? I mean, there's so many people that are hating on the HomePod because they it just doesn't have Spotify with Siri support. So you can't tell Siri to play a song from Spotify. Siri can't do that. The HomePod can't do that. Um, so I understand their point of view, but let me also tell you, can the Google Home play Apple Music? It can't. Can Amazon Alexa play Apple Music? It can't. Every company wants to trap you in their own ecosystem, which is totally understandable. But don't be hating on Apple just because Spotify is not compatible with the HomePod and with Siri. I mean, you can still play music from Spotify to the HomePod with AirPlay. You can still grab your phone and put music, but you can't tell Siri to play music from Spotify. So that's one of the reasons that people hate the HomePod the most which I guess it's understandable, but it's also not understandable. I mean, if you look at Amazon Alexa and the Google Assistant on the Google Home. So that's, I'm just saying, man. I mean, people are hating on the HomePod and that's my reasoning. I mean, every company has its own limits and that's why Apple built a limit. If I was Apple CEO, if I was Tim Cook, I'd still do the same thing. I wouldn't let Spotify support on the HomePod. You can call me an Apple fanboy. You can call me whatever you want in the comments. That's just the way it is. Next up, the quality. I mean, I think I don't think anybody can argue with the quality of the HomePod. It's simply the best smart speaker of 2018, hands down. I mean, the sound of this thing, by the way, I built, um, it actually sounds really good. If you actually put the HomePod sideways, I actually just got this cup. I just put this cup on it. You guys will probably be seeing a little bit of B-roll of this thing, but it sounds so much better if you actually put it sideways. I mean, come on. It sounds incredible. It sounds exceptional. It sounds so incredibly good. I can't even talk enough about the quality of the HomePod. I don't think anybody can argue with me that the quality of the HomePod sounds bad. It simply sounds amazing. So this is why I basically love my HomePod. It sounds amazing. I mean, the sound quality is exceptional. I mean, it can't get any better for a smart speaker. It's got so first. It's got so much pure technology built into a smart speaker. Siri. I find Siri enough for me. Everything that I want Siri to do works fine for me. I use HomeKit. I can literally tell Siri, hey, turn the fish tank off. Got it. And there you go. Hey, turn the fish tank on. And there you go. I mean, Siri turns my fish tank on and off and he turns my lights on. So yeah, if you have HomeKit devices, the HomePod will be so amazing for your home. Now there's a lot of people hating on the HomePod because it has Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth. Let's not forget that the HomePod is the HomePod. Come on, say it with me, the HomePod. It's not the portable pod, it's not the Bluetooth pod, it's the HomePod. 
The HomePod is meant to stay at home. If you want a portable Bluetooth speaker, there's a bunch of other options out there which are great. If you want to take it to the beach, if you want to put it in the shower, if you want to put it in your desk, if you want to bring it to your friend's party, that's great. And I'm not ditching on Bluetooth speakers because of course they've got its market and I personally own two Bluetooth speakers which I own a bunch. I own the Beats Pro Plus which is a great Bluetooth speaker. But that's not what the HomePod is. The HomePod is meant to stay at home, to trigger on your HomeKit devices, to, you know, turn a party on with this thing. I mean, this thing sounds amazing. So if you want this to be in your living room, for example, it's great for that. When Apple released the HomePod, it lacked a bunch of features. Now with iOS 12, Apple has added a bunch of those features, such as you can now search by lyrics, your music. You can now set multiple timers, which if you have your HomePod in the kitchen, for example, you can set multiple timers. If you're cooking with tomato sauce, for example, and you can't really set a timer with your phone, you can simply be like, Siri, set a timer for five minutes. That's something that can be really useful. It can also find your phone. So I can be like, Siri, where's my phone? And the HomePod will actually ping my iPhone, which can be really, really useful. And of course, you've got Siri shortcuts now. So the possibilities are completely endless. By the way, I've never actually mentioned Siri shortcuts in the channel. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys interested in me doing a Siri shortcuts video? I'll definitely take it into consideration. So concluding the video, is the HomePod worth it? Let me just say this. If you have Apple Music, yes. If you have HomeKit devices, the HomePod will be so useful for you. If you are basically built in the Apple ecosystem, you will have no problems with the HomePod. It sounds great. The design of the HomePod for me, it's absolutely beautiful. It comes in black and in white. Beautiful colors, beautiful design, simplistic design, minimalist design, really Apple-like design. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below question of the day. Do you guys have the HomePod? What are your thoughts on the HomePod? Let me know. Let's have, go ahead and have a party down in the comment section down below. And also, can I get some hype? I mean, tomorrow's Apple Keynote Day. I have school tomorrow. I have class during the Apple Keynote. And guess what I'm doing? I am freaking skipping for the Apple Keynote, of course, to let you guys know of all the latest Apple news, all the latest. I mean, of course, we're going to report on the 2018 iPad Pro. I am so excited. If you guys want to help support the channel and buy some awesome t-shirts, make sure to check out appleworldclothing.com. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you tomorrow in Apple Keynote Day. Peace.